Jeremy Corbyn has said he is in the Labour leadership contest for real, and called for the renationalization of the railways and energy companies. The left-wing MP, who topped a recent YouGov poll, told the BBC's Andrew Marr show he was making no predictions over the outcome. The popularity of his campaign has sparked a row within the party. Ex-SNP leader Alex Salman said he could work with Labour on a range of issues if Mr Corbyn became leader. Mr Salman said the Islington North MP was a substantial politician and criticised his demonisation in the press, saying the two parties could CO operate on welfare reform and trident renewal. Out of control. Former Prime Minister Tony Blair is among those to have warned Labour against moving to the left following a poll that put Mr Corbyn ahead of Andy Burnham, Yvette Cooper and Liz Kendall in the race to succeed Ed Miliband. It has been suggested that Conservative supporters, as well as hard-left activists, have been paying the £3 required to take part in the vote in order to back Mr Corbyn. Backbench MP John Mann told the Sunday Times the contest was totally out of control, and said acting leader MRS Harmon should step in so proper checks could be conducted. I only want people to register as Labour supporters if they are genuine Labour supporters and they want to stay for the longer course, Mr Corbyn said. Labour says it has a robust system to prevent fraudulent or malicious applications and that anyone not sharing the aims or values of the Labour Party will be denied a vote. Interesting question. Mr. Corbyn also said it was not an extreme position to consider renationalising some privatised services, saying 60% of people backed returning the railways to public ownership. He said he would be much happier with a regulated, publicly run service delivering energy supplies. Asked whether he saw himself as a Marxist, Mr. Corbyn said it was a very interesting question and praised some of the revolutionary thinkers' ideas. He added he did not think party leaders should lay down policies and that instead they should encourage the growth of ideas. Ms. Kendall, who has rejected suggestions she should quit to allow another candidate to defeat Mr. Corbyn, told The Independent on Sunday Mr. Corbyn's politics were not right for Labour or the country. In the Sunday Mirror, Mr. Burnham warned of a split in the party if it takes the wrong turn, while Ms. Cooper said the party needed to get serious. Former Cabinet Minister Alan Milburn told Sky News Labour risk being cast into political oblivion, saying Mr Corbyn was a perfectly nice chap, but I don't think even Jeremy thinks he is prime ministerial material.